my channel and as October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month I thought it only appropriate that I do a pink set dedicated to that. So I dug out these cute little pink ribbon glitter pieces from my collection and we're going to do a design. So I am working on Faithful Lottie as always, my flexi hand and to start off with I'm just going in with my thin clear base of clear acrylic. Funny that if it's clear base. Um, so just doing this on all of the nails and then we will get into the design. Okay, on the ring finger I have got pink mask, um, cover acrylic powder from Perfect Nails and I'm doing a reverse smile line nail bed. I, I was working a bit too wet here, I didn't drain out enough liquid but you know, happens to the best of us and I'm certainly not the best of us but we got there in the end. So I placed my bead down and now I'm just using my brush to shape my smile line, pat it into place so it's where I want it and then just evening out those sides making sure I've got a decent enough wall um, to then butt the next colour up don't worry if that smile line isn't perfect because we can file it going in with a little cuticle bead here just to make sure I've got full coverage at the cuticle uh, don't worry about apex here just get in that coverage and then I'm using pink powder from Perfect Nails. This is a translucent pink acrylic and I'm going to cap that nail bed with this, create my apex. I think using a translucent pink, it just gives it a little bit more of a natural look and I really like it. So while that is setting, we're going to add some colour, obviously it's pink. So I've got Central Perk here from Glam and Glitz and I'm using this on the pinky and the index finger just to the base colour um, I am going to be going in with glitter and stirs so I'm just painting it on but making sure I've got a nice neat cuticle coverage right down to the free edge and then when I'm happy with it on the pinky I'm going to do the index um, the glitter is only going to be a fade on here so I wanted to make sure I did have glitter uh, I wanted to make sure I had perfect coverage at the tip on this nail which I did. I also used this colour on the thumb but I've not kept that nail in this video because there was more than enough going on to um, keep us going. So just finishing that off making sure it is nice and neat and we're going to move on to the middle finger just laying down a cuticle bead to make it nice and neat and now I'm doing what's ended up being a very messy marble with central perk white acrylic and porcelain pearl also from glam and glitz now my beads here were too big they were nice and wet which is what you want from marble but they were just too big it was, it, it was just a mess but you know there's no right or wrong way to do a marble there's no right or wrong way for it to look it's it's what you make it you know um i can't say this was a brilliant marble but you know that's the way it goes sometimes it just doesn't go the way you want it to go um you work nice and wet nice and thin and you can sort of fix it ish uh, but what I would say is if you do a marble and you just say, oh, this is horrendous, this is not going well at all, glitter. Glitter it up. You cannot go wrong with glitter. Glitter fixes everything. Just chuck glitter at it. And that's sort of what I did with this set. But, you know, there we go. So I've got this iridescent shimmery pigment and I'm just adding a few swooshes. You know, I do like my swooshes to the of this to this nail. Now, honestly, really, this marble just needed to be dipped in that, smothered in it. But 
I worked hard on that messy marble, trying to unmessy it, so I didn't really want to cover it. And then using my little pink ribbons, I'm going to apply a couple just along that bottom line of pigment or bottom swoosh. Just added a bit more clear acrylic to help it set. Uh, now I have no idea where I got these um, ribbons from, but you can probably get them from Amazon, eBay, all good nail art suppliers. Once I'd applied those two ribbons, I filed my smile line off camera, you know the drill. And I'm going in now with white acrylic uh, on the tip, right up into the wings, trying to avoid getting it on the nail bed colour. But if you do, it's not the end of the world. You can file it away, you can clean it up. Um, so I'm just finishing off with my white, just painting it on. Um, I'm going to add a bit of this and a bit of that on top, so keeping it nice and thin. Um, oh, making sure I get right up into that wing. Don't want to miss any of the wing. Get it in there, pat it down, press it down. And then when that is covered, I'm going in with more of that pigment, uh, which on wet acrylic, you can just pat it on or you just use a teeny tiny bead of white, clear even, don't use white, use clear. And then another ribbon. So I've got Glinda from the Wizard of Oz collection and Leia from the Elite Glitters collection, all from the nail team. And I'm just sort of mixing the two together. Um, so I picked up a bead of Glinda and then I picked up a bead of Alea and I didn't like it. So I ended up double dipping, which is into one and into the other in the same bead. And I'm just mixing the two together. They, you know, it wasn't a, I'm going to ombre them, I'm going to swoosh them randomly. I wanted them to mix. I thought the two together would just be a really nice touch. Just, just you know, something else. So. Working in little beads because Glinda has got a little bit of texture to it and when I'm happy with that I'm going to fade it on the index so just fade it halfway down don't mind if I get a little bit further down because it just adds to that look keeping it nice and thin because when we come to encapsulate it we don't want to add bulked bulked then a wash of clear acrylic and I'm going to add just a few more of my little pink ribbons um, and then I'm going to cap all of these nails in clear acrylic and file to shape and ta -da! there they are. So I have this stamping plate from Dixie Plates, this is their awareness plate. I've got some white stamping polish and I'm going to do just a bit of stamping on the edge of that index finger or on the tip of the index finger so just using my clear stamper rolling it on and it's bras and ribbons perfect for breast cancer awareness um happy with that so tied it away and now i've got a selection of pink and ab crystals and i'm just going to do a bit of a design on my smile line so using my nail glue and my crystal katana to pick my crystals up and I'm just placing them as and where. You know me when I do my crystal placements, I've got no particular idea what I'm doing, I just go with it, just go with it. If I could just cover the nail in glue and throw the crystals at it, I could, I'd probably do that, but um, you know, All right, maybe I did think about it a little bit. So I'm doing, so I did my middle two and then built the design around that. So do one side, repeat on the other side. And then once I was happy with the placement of all these crystals on this nail, I then added some micro beads or caviar beads, whatever you want to call them. Oh my God. I sped it up slightly in this video because otherwise you'd have been watching that for like twice the amount of the rest of the video. Um, I used a gel glue with my caviar beads so I could flash cure. So a little micro swab with my gel glue and then I've got a silicone tool here and I, I just dipped that into the micro beads, picked them up. And now I'm just placing them along that line of glue. Getting them into place, it's 
fun. It's real fun, isn't it? Just moving it around, and when I was happy, I just used my little light to flash cure. Same on the other side, flash cure, couple more, and then fully cure in the lamp for 60 seconds. I'm gonna have a breather and let you watch me play around with micro beads. Right, nearly finished with placing all these beads and as frustrating as they are, it is worth it to spend that time placing them. They do add something. But once they are fully cured, once they are fully cured in place, I'm going in with my perfect nails, top gloss, top gel, top coat, that's the word I was trying to think of, to bring these nails back to life. Um, now I'm not missing out my ring finger, I'm coming back to that at the end because I forgot to get my uh, thin little brush out. So I'm just going to do all the others and I will come back to it. Um, if you're working on a client, I would double top coat any stamping. But because this is Lottie and I just pulled the nails out, just went in with the one coat. Twice, by the looks of it. <laughs> so... On this nail, it doesn't matter if you go over top of the micro beads, but you do want to avoid going over top of the crystals. Although these ones aren't actual Swarovskis, they're just crystals, you still don't really want to go on top of them. So that's why I use my little bead to get in and around them. Uh, and I wasn't worrying too much if I was on top of the micro beads. And then we're going to cure for 60 seconds in my LED lamp. And here are my breast cancer awareness nails complete so I think very special set for this month and I loved how they turned out and I hope you do too so if you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please click that subscribe button check out the description box for all the product links and details and I will see you again very very soon bye Mwah.